All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is kind of going over how uh, foundation is done for a single family home. As you can see, um, we're going to have another, we have a previous video on how to set up these forms. Uh, but what you're seeing right now are the forms that are set on top of the footers. And if you could do me a huge favor before I continue on, the lower right hand side, just click uh, subscribe to the video and uh, that definitely helps uh, me gain subscribers and uh, to, make, to communicate with you guys uh, more often. So what the guys are doing right now, uh, they're putting two by fours in there. So you're seeing uh, four foot walls, which is not the actual size of what the walls are gonna be. Um, they're actually, the forms are, are four foot walls, but the actual walls are anywhere between uh, two and three feet tall, which we'll see much later in the video. So in between the walls, um, we're putting two by fours so that when the concrete actually starts to pour, um, the concrete will only come up to the third part. Later in the video, I'm gonna start to show you where the actual foundation uh, once it's stripped, we'll go over in detail. So what you just saw there um, was actually very quick, but the, the concrete comes uh, in a truck and then we shoot it um, with a physical uh, pump truck. And then at that point, uh, we're at a holding pattern for the night and uh, we'll let the night uh, video go over and then we'll start up at the next day. Um, but at this point, we need to let it set for at least 12 hours. And then when we come back in the morning, um, we're gonna be setting things up, stripping down the forms and getting things ready. So give it a couple minutes and uh, we're gonna so sh start to show you what's going on. This just goes into a quick, you would think the concrete's still wet. You'd actually be really surprised, but concrete actually hardens uh, pretty darn quickly. So. Literally, if they're pouring now within an hour or two, it gets hard enough to be able to uh, to walk on. Um, so what we're what we're seeing now is uh, some of the forms have come down, and each of these walls is actually uh, anchored together with bolts, temporary bolts, kind of like a, uh, a a screw and a nut. And what the guys do is start to individually. Um, strip down each and every wall. So on the right hand side you'll start to see it come off and as you can see the concrete is still very green. Uh, up on top of that, you know, you saw that at the garage, um, the other form just came down and now you have uh, what's known as a brick ledge. So on the, the left hand side of the screen you can still see the two by fours that were framed. He just popped them off and then what that's going to be in the next video is actually the uh, it's the brick ledge uh, for our structural slab for when we're going to pour the actual uh, garage. The the slab on grade within the um, within the foundation of the house is not going to be a structural slab, but in the garage we're going to have to do a structural slab. And as you can see at the top of all the concrete, uh, you can see these bolts, which is when we get to the framing videos, you're going to see that we're going to put anchor plates down, and that's where the walls are going to be start to build and the floor joy. So at this point, um, house is just going to be sitting for a day or so. Uh, if you want to jump into the next video, check out uh, the groundworks, which is going to start the electrical and the plumbing uh, before we do the rest of the concrete. And remember guys, please, uh, lower right hand part of the screen, subscribe, and I'll be sending you videos on how to build houses and all about construction. Talk to you soon.